you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shenanigans. Hey. How are you guys doing today? Oh, warm. How are you? I am good. I'm finally getting better, and I am ready for some D&D. We got shenanigans now. We got desperate measures uh, after shenanigans. We'll have mm -hmm. Homeward Bound on Sunday, and we'll have Two Demons Run next week in addition to all of our other shows. Mm -hmm. It's going to be mm -hmm. a hell of a week. Um, does anyone have anything that else they want to share before we hop into today's fun-filled disaster of a game? I made two coffees instead of one because I forgot I made the first one. <laughs> Classic. Thinking ahead. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Good. That's good. What about you, Brian? Uh, nothing much. Just doing good. James? Uh, nothing new. I'm plugging along with the wiki. I Just over 100 uh, recaps left to go. Let's see how it Very goes. Nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. Well, let's hop into today's shenanigans. The three of you are sitting around the ta bar. Well, let's see if we can't get some tokens for you, maybe. Here's a Garrett, a gnome. Oh, wow. <coughs> Two of you are already here. Mm -hmm. Just need a Sir Walker. Lovely. So the three of you are sitting around a table somewhere here in shenanigans. Everyone's favorite bar in town. Also, the only bar anyone's allowed in in town. Um, but that's not, that's neither here nor there. It's still everyone's favorite bar, regardless of the number no, of bars I, that are available. I, I don't know. I read these some reviews in the Orm, Almanac. Yeah, there's a thing like the butcher shop is actually a nicer bar. Yeah, but you know, you're not really, it's not your place. You're not welcome there. Well, that's odd, because when I was introduced, you said everyone's allowed here. It's just, it is a lesbian bar, but everyone's yeah, allowed here. Yeah, you, oh, you might be legally allowed, but you're not really welcome. You know what I mean? Uh, like, you'd be out of place. You'd stick out like a sore thumb. It would be awkward. That doesn't mean you can't enter the building. You know, it's like you got cop bars, but if you're a fireman, you don't go to cop bars, even though legally they can't kick you out. It's a public room. But like firemen don't go to cop bars, right? So player character adventurers don't hang out at the butcher shop or at Joey's or at any of these other places. They they are relegated to this wonderful place. Mm -hmm. Anywho, um, what are you guys doing? Going to a cop bar. So I There's no done. cop bars in town. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this the cop bar? This might be the cop bar. <laughs> true, yeah, true. Well, well where are the deputies? I mean, I know, I know there's no sheriff, but what happened to the deputies? Because there were still some of deputies on the payroll. We were almost the sheriff. Oh, I don't think we actually got even close. <laughs> I, I actually think um, I, I come running in and I'm out of breath and say, okay, okay, I'm here. Where, where, are, the, where are the demons that we need to protect against? Oh, the... uh, they've, they've already left, man. Are they here? No, no, no. They're all call. in Eridon. You're too late. They every, everyone They're left not... last week. Is it this Eridon? No, this is Drekus. Where's Eridon? Is it... Eridon's that way. It's a long walk. This is when uh, Desmond gives you guys a, a whistle up and waves you over towards the bar. Uh, and uh, uh, okay. he leans heavily and looks at Sir Walker in the eyes and says, uh, buddy, someone was here looking for you. Is it, it wasn't about the demons? Uh, maybe. He looks pretty <laughs> demonic. Red eyes, a little bit of smoke coming out of his ears. That he sounds said, like I need to talk to him. What? When I say he was looking for you, I kind of mean, I think he was looking to kill you. Hmm. The demons that... are trying to stop you getting into the battle, Sir Walker. You're right. We need to be on the lookout. They know your power. Mm. Just thought you should know. Okay, good good job, Desmond. Always keeping your eye out. Hey, well, that's what I do. You know, I'm a, a jovial, happy guy here. I, I look out for my own, right? And that's why you all pay your bar tabs on time, right? Yeah, I always have my tabs and I tend to stand on missions, isn't it? Great, That's great. Me. He looks at Boomer. Yeah, uh, my son will come along soon to, uh, to pay it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what does your son do for a living much. again? He's um, a cleric of the money god. The, the money Jones? god. The money god. Really? I only there's, there's a god of Farah, money? So I'm not too like good on like the commerce and the monies and stuff, you know? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Uh huh. You, what, you, you don't not trust week, me by Desmond. now? Do you know how long I've been here, man? He's got no money, Desmond, this week. He got robbed last week. Uh, Desmond, you missed a hell of a party. Well, to be honest, the real party is wherever I happen to be. I am the party, if you know what I mean. Hell, we should party sometime, Desmond. I uh, hold on, I got another customer down at the other end of the bar. <laughs> and he walks to the old man who's sitting by himself and talks to him and the old man starts to wave away and Desmond like starts pouring him a cup of ale anyway. Oh, I can't believe that worked, guys. I'm never paying that bar tab. Man, you, you wanna keep this place to stay in business, right? Uh yeah. Yeah. You're yeah, paying. Yeah, I mean or are you trying to make enemies so you get more vengeance? Whoa, whoa, let's not make assumptions here. Well, I mean, that's Desmond, the dashing. You know what he did? He killed a black dragon. Did he? How did he do that? Uh, with a sword. Did he take the acid? <laughs> no, a literal black dragon, not the uh, narcotic. <laughs> but anyway, let's look into Sir Walker's mystery person. <laughs> All right. All right. Is anyone evil in here, Sir Walker? That's a good idea. I look around. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, there is a goblin over uh, in this corner, which I'm about to draw a line to, back over here. And he's got like kind of long pointy ears for a goblin with a, a series of rings in each ear. Uh, and a long knife that he's got laid out across the table and a leg of chicken in his hand. Hey, 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 Garrett, it is, if somebody it has, like, earrings, does that make them evil? No. No, okay. About a bunch of druids have earrings. They're not evil, they're just neutral. How do you know they're not evil, though? They have earrings. What? So it's, it's a sign of neutrality. Oh. No, no. All right, well, why don't we talk to the neutral goblin, then? Okay, cool. All right, yeah. we'll talk to the neutral goblin. All right, so we walk over to the neutral goblin. <laughs> Even though he detected evil. <laughs> you arrive at the neutral <laughs> goblin who's sitting over in the corner. Uh, <clears throat> he looks up at you. What you want? Chicken. Get your own. This is mine. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're gonna make me pay for it. Do you mind paying for it? Fuck off! Hmm. Freeloader. Communist. Yeah. Well, here's the thing about communism. Boomer goes on like a five minute speech. I don't think you guys want to hear it. <laughs> Can I hear the first minute of the five minute speech? Let's Are just do sure? a condensed version. Oh yeah, give it to me, Boomer. Oh, man. Okay, wait, which side is Boomer? Oh yeah. Well, the thing about Who's communism. The thing about communism is it's great in theory, but in practice it doesn't really work because you know, back in my day, we fought about some ones that weren't working, but there are some that don't work, but they're really the extreme examples when really, really, it's never gonna work because basically the new generations just wouldn't understand the concept and they would ruin everything that we've set in place just like they do with pretty much everything we do like all of these infrastructures we set up and these roads we built and they just don't care about this like oh, kids these days there's no country in arcadia that has communism who said we were talking about arcadia what are you I talking heard about I heard there's a new continent somewhere that people are talking about that's not Arcadia. Maybe maybe oh, they're communists. Our communism. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that landmass that's um, to the uh, east of Arcadia, but I mean, oh, we know nothing about who lives there. There's a big sea monster that stops us getting close to it. Maybe, maybe that's why the we- The goblin looks at it. you and goes, how do you know there's a continent if you can't get close to it. And how do you know there's a sea monster? If there was a sea monster, there'd be no survivors. You're oh. just fallen for rumors, lore, yes, legends that don't exist. There ain't no continent to the east other than Solemn. Yeah, and I there like ain't no goblin. sea monsters. He's onto you. He knows you worship those winter gods. I don't worship the, the types of things the winter gods. You God. worship the winter gods, he says, leaning in. You know who uh, else does that? Dumb oh. kobolds. <laughs> yeah, but, and he sits yeah. back. Huh. Satisfied with himself, as if he's I, somehow landed the most devastating blow in the world. I don't wish the... What? It's okay. It's okay, Garrett. <laughs> yeah, I 
donate to Jaxel now and then. Uh, what? Why are we talking to this goblin? Seriously, why are we talking to this goblin? What am I, just a goblin to you? Huh? What's your name? My name's Fancy. Fancy Feet. Hey, Fancy Feet. I had a question for you. What do mm. the, the, the like earrings and piercings signify? That I like decorating my ears. Oh, very fancy of you. It is, isn't it? Do you you should see what I've done feet? to my toes. Yeah, I was gonna uh, ask. They oh, don't we're call on the me same fancy page. feet for no reason. I like this goblin, guys. Mm. I think I think he's our new friend here. You should party with us sometime. Me, you, Desmond, we'll go out. No offense. <laughs> But like, I don't swing that way. <laughs> no, Desmond's a beautiful man. It's okay. I, yeah, but I already have my own. I, I already got my own. You know, I don't. I don't need to be joining in your weird human yeah. threesome thingies. You know, I I you're all so tall too. It's awkward. I wish I had a Desmond. The goblin shifts uncomfortably in his seat because he thinks you're hitting on him. <laughs> Is there something else you needed, boys? Or can I enjoy my chicken in silence? Have you seen anybody evil around? Yeah, I did. This man who came in here earlier today. About yay tall, he says, raising his hand way over his head. Yeah hood up over his face. Little trendles of smoke rolling out of it. Strange character. Came around here saying he was uh, looking for someone. I didn't catch the conversation, but that guy gave me the creeps. Mm -hmm. Did you catch his name? Mm -mm. I couldn't overhear too much what he was saying. Mm. It's a problem with overhearing is you can't ask questions. So hood, evil, got it. Hood, yeah. evil, smoke. You got that, guys? Earrings are neutral. Hood. Hoods are bad. Yeah, don't. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. This is a good group. We're all on the same page here. I like it. I like this it. The are Martha who wear hoods. Are they evil? Wait. No, they heal people. Then why are they wearing hoods? To show they're white clerics. <laughs> you know who else is evil and wears a hood? Who? The Caledonian Kobold crew. Ah, oh, those damn Kobolds. Yeah, they wear big, tall, white hoods. Evil Caledonia. Kobolds. Where's that? I don't know. I just heard the name once upon a time. All right. It's in Caledonia, obviously. Yeah. So basically, Caledonia with a K is in Caledonia with a C. Well, you know, they're Kobolds, right? So. They spell clan with a K, and they spell Caledonia with a K. Oh. They're dumb. Oh man, those damn kobolds. You know, the mayor over there is a kobold. He looks over at Glib Glob, who is sort of like napping under a table with a little bit of like chicken bone still in his arms and an empty uh, flagon yeah. next to him. Well, he shakes last, his head. Well, you learned last week he was an honorary mayor. He's not exactly the uh, actual mayor. He will always be the mayor to me. All right. How the That's hell it. have humans conquered this continent if they promote kobolds as mayors? I don't get it. It's crazy, like, right? I get that you're all tall and strong and flexible and, you know, whatnot. But your priorities are all fucked up. No offense. Damn humans. Damn humans. That's right. Yeah. I think Neil forgot I'm an elf. Well then, and he kind of raises his mug in a it was nice to see you sort of mm. way right. and uh, leans back. Okay, looking for a guy with a hood with smoke emanating from it. I turn around and look under the stairs, and then I detect evil. I just like jump around. Jump around detecting evil. I, I, cause I just make sure somebody doesn't sneak up on me. 
this is where this is where people would put time under. I feel like would be under this this table. Yeah, I know a lot of people hide under there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you detect evil. Well, well, hold on. What's the radius of your detection? I guess you're kind of jumping around, but what I is your? I take a step back behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good on neutral. <laughs> I thought it was like 60 feet or something. Um, Ooh, perfect. Let me just hide what I'm measuring. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. You detect evil, buddy. It's coming from this direction. It's out of that direction. In, in this direction. <laughs> <laughs> I turn, yeah, I turn this way. <laughs> Are you sure oh, yeah. he's not invisible? <laughs> it's definitely still coming from this direction. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, how full is shenanigans today? Thirty percent. Thirty people. Uh, thirty. Pe- oh, thirty people in here. So I've got a few people to check. Are any of them wearing hoods and? Nobody is presently wearing a hood. Okay. Are any of them wearing earrings so we can eliminate them? Uh, yes. Some of them are wearing earrings. Okay, so we don't have to worry about those. What do you think we should do here, Sir Walker? Look, look yeah. around. Hmm. Wait, what if he was wearing a hood before, but he took it off? But how would he stop smoke emanating if he's a demon? We look for smoke. <laughs> well, there's a few smokers in here, I'm sure, but... Does anybody have really flat hair as if they were wearing a hood? <laughs> Wait, is smoking allowed in this tavern? I'm not sure if that's that's within the, the tavern rules here. Oh. They might I don't be know. The rules is the fire marshal alive this week or not? But, hey, uh, you haven't checked yet. There's way yeah, no way I to know. A, yeah, I know. I'm not really worried about it, but... Yeah. We could ask the fire marshal if he knows. He he seems like he'd be the expert on on smoke. All right. Well, he's got a place next to the sheriff's station in the in town hall. I mean, town square. Maybe that's where the fire marshal is. Because as they say, where there's smoke, there's the fire marshal. Mm. <laughs> Very wise, Sir Walker. True. Yeah. Where there's smoke, there's the fire marshal. <laughs> this well, is why you're the leader. Really tickles so me. Far, Neil. <laughs> this is why Sir Walker's the leader. I mean, haven't you guys seen like every time there's a fire, if you go if you go there, you're gonna find the fire marshal there. I wonder why. Wait, do you th- are you thinking he's starting the fire? Well, what the a great cover wants. up. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Well, I mean, let's just go it's good business sense. Yeah. Don't they just get a salary so it doesn't matter how many fires there are? True, but at that point, you could also invest in the local carpentry shop. You know, mm. get stuff going. And I, I'm going to, like, try to sneak up to anybody who I see as evil, because I, I knew it was in this direction. So right. I'm just... sitting here. Can't you, so like, you... radar it? Yeah, I mean, I think you can do it at will, right? It's not yeah. a one-time thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you walk. get a little closer, and it's still coming from this direction over here. Still coming from this direction. Oh yeah, right. it's coming from over here. <laughs> is Somewhere it, in this direction. Is it through the? the it, I, I. Oh my t- god, the wall! <gasps> <laughs> but how or, can we kill it without dying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, guys. I think. I think. I think maybe. I, I think maybe he he made the the wall seem evil, but I don't know if it's actually evil. Mm. Maybe smoke's near it, and the smoke got on it. Try knocking on the wall. See if it responds. The, the kitchen's through that wall. Oh, maybe it's in the kitchen. Why didn't you say something sooner, Garrett? Wait a second. Is there smoke coming from the kitchen? There is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we've got to be ready for this. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll let them take point on this one. I think I'm just going to go walk near the bar and uh watch them <laughs> i guess i peek through the, <laughs> the side to look for you up it's coming from this way okay <laughs> yeah you Is can peek coming... in 
and you see Borsh, he's working. Yeah. Uh, the evil's still coming from this direction, and that's when Desmond turns and says, Hey, what are you doing behind the bar? Hunting evil! Employees only! Okay, I, I, I go back. You're right. That's that's against the rules, guys. Shakes his Sorry. finger at you, but yeah. then goes back to his other conversation. All right, guys. Evil food? We have to become employees so that we can investigate this. It's the only way. Well, is, it, is there a job opening? Ask Desmond if there's a job opening, then. Hey, Desmond! Yeah? I want to work off my tab! Nope! Shit! All right, guys, I'm out of ideas. Oh, I don't have any ideas then. Uh, oh, I know. I can I try to use my sneaking abilities to look back there. <clears throat> I'm not opposed to that. We could, <laughs> we could ask around, ask other people if they've seen, seen somebody who wears a hood. No. So we're not going to visit the fire marshal, just stay around here? We could, we could. See if anybody reported any suspicious characters. I'm just gonna start asking random people in the bar if they recognize what we we're talking about, the hoods and the smoke and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody know anything? Yeah, a couple of people saw this hooded figure come in. He was wearing a uh, he, she, it was wearing a brown <coughs> cloak that went down to like the ankles, had black boots on, a uh, hood pulled up over the head and in one hand was grasping a staff that had uh, like a like an eyeball on the top of it. It had like a like a staff comes up and then it like leans forward with like little eye stalk. Okay, I asked if there's any particular like symbols of any gods or anything like that, any markings, any necklaces, anything like that. Well, let's see, let's have someone make a perception check. No. The uh, cloak was buttoned up or clasped up front, barely parted down the middle, and I didn't get a good look at the front of him. Only really saw the back. Hmm. Uh, fairly plain cloak, a little bit of a embroidering, but I couldn't discern any significant patterns. Kind of weird him wearing a hood indoors, eh? Super sketchy and edgy. Ah, kids. <laughs> so edgy. Did, did so you see edgy. where he left to? The front door. Mm. Oh. <sighs> All right, I look out the front door. Do I see this person standing right there? Give me a perception check. All right. No. Hmm. I don't know any gods that, you know, have a staff of an eyeball on it. Do you, Sir Walker? Do you think it's a cleric? Maybe. Well, who goes around with a staff of an eyeball on it? A wizard or a cleric? One of them. The gods of... Do wizards get their power from the gods as well? Who is the god of okay. sea monsters? Yeah. Is there any gods of sea monsters? Ah. Oh. <laughs> but no. Sir Walker no. is so smart. He's always one step ahead of us, this mm, guy. But yeah, that's no, why you're the leader. Yeah, there's no god of just sea monsters. There's a god of all life. No, no, but of sea monsters. Yeah, I got the pound. Yes. Wait, the what? <sighs> well, no, there's no god of the sea. Okay. Okay. That we're aware of. Hmm. I mean, there could be a bunch of fake gods. We can. We What's the plan, some, guys? Some old-fashioned investigation of the town. We could. We could go outside, uh, investigate the town. Maybe yeah, sure. Take out. Like, he comes out. Wait, wait, when did he come in into the tavern? Ask Desmond. Or I, I asked one of the the people who saw. I guess the pe person we were talking to earlier. Early this morning. I was, uh, still drinking from last night when I saw him. How tall was he? Five, ten and a half. Mm. Five, eleven. Did you, ask, did you talk to him at all? Did anybody here talk to him? Mm-mm. No one sort talked of came to him? In. No, he came on in, did this, like, uh, gaze around the room, spoke to Desmond for a moment, gazed around the room again, and then left. Hmm. Yeah. I think he didn't gaze up at the in-rooms upstairs. Hey, Desmond. Hmm. What's Desmond. Up? What was the guy's uh, name that came in? <laughs> Tom. Hmm. Thanks, Desmond. You're a pal. Mm-hmm. That's it. Thanks, man. All right, guys. So we got to find Tom. Desmond wouldn't lie to us.
Do All right. you any anybody with with the so I can detect evil. Do you have anybody else who could detect Tom? I could potentially locate his staff if I took a little nap as usual. Naps are really important to do the whole magicking. What's the range of that spell? Pretty long, right? 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 And what? Isn't it directional? Oh wait, no, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Never mind. All right. All right. Okay, uh, let's head into town and see if he's in the town square near the fire marshals, or you, did you want to do something else? Mm. Is no one concerned about the evil in the tavern? You told us we weren't allowed back there, and Desmond... All right. Desmond, <laughs> Desmond told us we're not allowed back there. Hey, yeah, Desmond! Yeah. <laughs> Desmond, buddy! I'm busy! <laughs> There's evil in your kitchen. Are you concerned? Uh, he's reformed. Oh, That's a good here. orc. Not here. Oh. No, there's something in there. There's something else in there. We detected it. I'm really busy, he says, and he's ca very carefully pouring right. okay. hey, one cup into Don't another. Back there Hold now. on. This takes concentration. He's not looking. Go look. Go look. Hey, Desmond, did you become evil? I think I saw Tom outside. I look again. Do I see Tom outside? Make me another perception check. <laughs> There's a guy that kind of looks like a Tom. He's right. tall, thin-faced, a little him? bit of a beard, balding on top. Um, you know, kind of hey, looks Tom. like a, what do you call it? A skin doctor. Okay, oh. Uh, oh, dermatologist. A der he looks like a dermatologist. <laughs> My yeah. mind immediately went to like something completely different when he said skin doctor. And then I'm like, oh wait, that's a thing. All right, mm -hmm. I yell at him. Hey, Tom, does he turn around? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, were you looking for Sir Walker earlier? Huh? What? Sir Walker. Do you, you need a walker? No, do you know Sir Walker? Who's that? Have you seen anyone around with a hood? No. Have you ever worn a hood? Yes. Who are you? Guys, guys, I found yeah. Tom. Hey, uh, I, I'm sorry, who who are you? Oh, I'm Boomer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How's your day I'm going? Tim, nice to meet Guys. you. Guys! Wait, Tim? Sorry, <laughs> Tim? Yeah, I'm Tim. Then why'd you respond to Tom? I thought you said Tim. Uh, <laughs> how old is this guy, Neil? Yeah, 50, 55. Hmm. I, I apologize, good sir, for the misunderstanding. That's all right. Yeah, we gotta respect our elders. I suppose. Yeah. Have a yeah. good day. Oh, I thought. We should go for a walk sometime, though. Well, I, I was going to go to a pool party. Pool I, uh, party? My friend Laverne just installed an above ground pool. We're Whoa. gonna go. Do you have any like refreshments? Yeah, we've got a uh, wine oh, and awesome. punch. Oh, guys, you guys want to go to a pool party? We're on a case. No, we got we got to stay focused, guys. All right, here's the plan. We wait here <laughs> at night until the morning, and then we see if he comes in again. I, I think he'll, he'll he might come in. <sighs> All right, fine, Tim. Tim, we'll be in touch. Yeah. 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 I'll bring some How? good shit. <laughs> I got magic, Tim. How do you? Wait, you don't know where the pool party is yet. I got magic. Smart. Smart. You ever had black dragon acid, Tim? No. Oh, Doesn't you're that in for a treat. Apparently not, man. It kills your perception. It'll be a whole... Don't worry about it, Tim. Next time, we're going to a, a real pool party, all right? I don't know. I'm a dermatologist, and I've seen black dragon acid burns on people. It's very dangerous. <laughs> Did you see it on their inside? You don't need a dermatologist if it burns all the way to the inside. Ah, then you so need you an undertaker. You drink it. All right, Tim. Go on, buddy. We're good. He leaves awkward and confused. I like that guy. We should go to his pool party the other day. How tall was he? <laughs> was he 5'10? Five, 5'11? Five, uh, he's like six feet tall. That's pretty yeah, close. He's too tall. God. 
Okay. All right. So How we get time? into the shenanigans kitchen to investigate the evil? I, I thought we were doing a stakeout. All right, we'll do a stakeout. But the thing's already evil. It's in the corner. Oh, I, I understand the confusion. See, you thought we were going to go to the kitchen and get steak. I said steak out. It, it's a completely different mm. thing. Like right. with a vampire. Yeah. All right. Okay, fine. All right. Yeah, let's do a steak out. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm sure. following you. So we just hang around the bar like we're going to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys just hanging around in the bar all day on a Apparently. steak out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's what we're doing. Okay. Hey Desmond, can I get a beer on my tab? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. You're a good man. Okay. All right. When he comes to serve me the beer, does Sir Walker see him as evil? I don't know. I don't, Sir Walker hasn't tried to. I don't oh. detect evil all the time. I just do it when sometimes people remind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's probably not Desmond. Well, you would have detected it. It was him. Easily. <laughs> Neil's face. <laughs> Let's see. So you stake out the tavern. Yeah, so where are we staking it out, guys? Where should we sit? I think we should be the most visible possible. So if the guy comes back, then we don't miss him. He'll come oh, to sit us. sit at the bar then? Oh, that's a nice place to sit. I like sitting at bars. Hmm. We right. have to talk to Desmond. Yeah, let's sit at the bar and talk to your Desmond. Yeah. He'll be excited. All right, everyone goes into the bar and waits. Complicated all of a sudden. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> okay. Um, the day passes and the sun begins to set. Well, this has been a waste of, of a day. Whoa. Spending time that you enjoy with your friends is never a waste. We could have got something done together. We did. We enjoyed ourselves. Do you not enjoy our company? I enjoyed yeah, but, your company, Garrett. Yeah, but it's more to well, I like just you. hanging out with your friends. You've got to be productive, too. Uh, I've done that. Well, is it about the young. destination or is it about the journey? Exactly. Sir Walker. Oh. The journey, but we didn't journey anywhere. We're still literally in the bar where we started. Wait, what about those demons? We need to German journey yeah, over they're there. They left. We missed them. We missed them. They, they, they left like a week, a week or two ago. They're they, already in Aradon. Then why did they come looking here? Well, maybe they're making sure Sir Walker doesn't go along to help. Hmm. So what you're saying is we don't have to care about him anymore since the demons are gone. It means they're coming here to us. Oh. Yes. Oh, so what you're saying, we should just wait here in the bar. <laughs> That's where they, they would expect, exactly. <laughs> Is at this I'm point, saying, I turn off. Being a little more proactive about the, your threat, the threat to your life might be important. I heard a bunch of Palins got assassinated in Eridon a year or two ago. Like maybe I, investigate, make sure this, this guy isn't like planning something. I jump around again and do a 180 and then I detect evil again. He, he might, he's not going to be in here. You detect evil from over here. <laughs> what, what if, what if it's, it, guys, I think it's still over here. The evil is still it coming upstairs from here. or is it on this floor? That's in the wall right in front of you. Yeah. All right, I go to the wall yeah. and I knock. Borscht pokes his head around from the other side. Yeah? What do you need? Mr. Walker, look like, is it in Sir Walker's vision? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm still detecting evil. I don't know. Is uh, you can look at Borscht, but he's not evil. Okay. okay. All right. Hey, Borscht, <coughs> are you alone yep. in there? Yep. Did you find any, you know, evil things lately that you might have brought in there with you? He nods, st steps back in and pulls out like a quarter of a turkey and holds it up and goes, this turkey. Well, I don't want to bore you with the details, but belong to a pack of evil turkeys. Killed mm. a whole bunch of people recently. 
finally had someone uh, track down the last one of them. Brought it here. It's the king of the turkeys. We're going to serve it for dinner. Hmm. All right. Does that, is that radiating evil? Or it's not no, evil. it's a dead turkey. Yeah. I thought the it's king of the a turkeys turkey. was a crane. Boomer was there. Boomer was there. Yeah, well, maybe he's talking about a different clan of evil turkeys. Boomer or tells maybe everyone the, the story. crane is gone, and so it's no longer the king? I don't know. Boomer tells the everyone the majestic birds. story of when Boomer went out and single-handedly handled all of these turkeys and the Kung Fu crane. Single-handedly? <laughs> Single-handedly. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. <laughs> maybe we could help him cook the turkey in the kitchen. I don't know. Oh. Efficiency. Does anybody here know how to cook? I can cook fish, probably. <laughs> Good old fishing proficiency. <laughs> is is a fish the same as do, you, do they like the same as a bird? You can do it the same way. Well, it also depends if fishing proficiency lets me cook fish well. Nope, it lets you fish. And then some. It's it's a really versatile check. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great for fishing. <laughs> and talking about fishing. Sure, sure. Yeah. And uh, maybe even making some basic fishing tools. Have I ever told you guys that fishing story? That's a good fishing story. All right, so I have another five minutes of talking about fishing. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah, th thank you, Mr. Boomer. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what do you guys want to do about this turkey? Well, it's not the evil thing, so we don't have to do anything about the turkey. I'm going so to try to... what do you think we should do? Can I look? What? Is this stage hollow underneath it? I'm going to try to look under there, if that's okay. Yeah, you know what? Someone has built a platform, and if yeah. you give a... On the top of it, you can hear that it's uh, there's a space between the top of the stage and the floor underneath. All right. I'm going to try to get get under it and see if there's there's any... There are boards underneath it. It's been built... It's uh, if it's if there's space under there, it's been contained on the sides. You'd have to pry open the boards. Oh, don't do that, mate. Don't do it. Okay. Is it part of? Well, someone died though? the other week from just messing with the walls. Did they? Well, they they cast a spell and it would have damaged the walls, <laughs> Mr. Boomer. The story you told earlier today. I didn't tell that story. You're better be, you're oh, you want to hear that story stuff. about that time Boomer single-handedly dealt with the skitter snaps? No, Sir Walker was there. It's true. Sir Walker and I dealt with the skitter snaps. Mm. Wait, okay. maybe the skitter snap is still here. Oh no! I look up yeah. in the walls. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't I'll see a skitter snap anywhere. I'm gonna check upstairs. Do you head on upstairs? There's a whole bunch of doors with people's bedrooms on the other side. You uh, walk through the area detecting evil, but it keeps pinging off from that corner, that, that section of wall down there. Yeah, so below me? So even yeah. if it's, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll come back here. And what is the thing, a stage you said? Yeah, it's like a small little raised platform for performers, of which there are none right now. Um. I'm gonna try. What if I? I Boomer's gonna get on the stage and start performing a poem about fishing. Oh, flip! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go to the bar and have another drink. Could be an <laughs> evil ghost bard. Uh, you get a couple of finger snaps from some random folks, and you also <laughs> see the group of goblins leave. <laughs> All right, did anything happen, guys? That was my idea. All right, well, what is on the, what, is it just a plain wall? Yeah, it's just is a wall. A, so there's no like evil photo on the wall or? Anything? No, photos haven't been invented yet. Painting? Nope. And can, can Sir Walker pinpoint if the evil is from the wall or the the stage? Like if he's like there. The oh yeah, it's definitely like... from the wall. Because oh. if you stand over here, it's this way. And if you stand, if. <laughs> If yeah. Walker stands like right here against the wall, then it comes from the wall and not from below him. Yeah. Can you? Okay, it's okay. Here's some chalk. Just mark X on the wall without damaging the wall. The exact spot. You can mark the wall. Dennis has got a sign that's a shenanigan. That I think Desmond can do whatever he wants. Oh, actually, you're right. He might <laughs> Why don't you right. mark the wall? <laughs> okay, all right. I'll mark Grabs the wall. Grabs a knife. You point out the exact spot and we'll mark it. Oh no. Mr. Walker. 
Okay. Just chalk. It's like, just chalk's not permanent. It can wash off. <laughs> All right. You let me know when you mark it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the toe of the exact spot. Okay. I try to find the exact spot with, with my hand, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's like a, it's a range. It's not like this okay. exact point, uh, but it's like right between this part and this part. All right. I'll, I'll do an outline then with my chalk. <laughs> How Chalk's many characters have you lost? It washes off. How many characters have you lost to shenanigans, by the way? Like the actual in tavern. Fifteen-ish. <laughs> I've lost. I stopped counting them after. Maybe it's a portal. I, I'm just like trying to walk, like through it. Uh, it's chalk. It's not permanent. You yeah, uh, bump into the wall. <laughs> there is no secret. Passage to uh, wall courts here. <laughs> uh, and we survived you, the chalk. You chalk outline the wall and it's fine. Despite okay. rolling yeah. a one on the d20, it's still fine. It's fine. <laughs> I saw a guy make a hatch, hatch in this, above the stage the other, other episode and he didn't get killed. Other, what do you mean episode? Oh, episode of our lives. Ah. Yeah. All right. Well, Garrett, how about how about we check this out? So, uh, Sir Walker, here, why don't you have this beer in that corner? Uh, so, Garrett, <laughs> I'll distract mm -hmm. our buddy Desmond, and why don't you have a look in there and see what's there? Okay. All right. All right. So, I know which little rough area. So, I hope yeah. we'll see if there's anything on the Borsha side of the wall. With my, uh, I'll give you my skill, Neil, so you can roll it. All right, so get ready, Garrett. I'm gonna I'm gonna distract Desmond. All right. Um, Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, my move silently check. Neil is twelve. Um. Okay. Well, I'm trying to sneak to in, to the, into the kitchen. Like, oops. Like this. While, while Boom is distracting. Well, yeah. Wouldn't you want to use the outside door while I distract? Yeah, oh yeah, here? I'll use the outside door. That that makes more sense. Yeah. And check that it's not locked. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You can walk outside and just loiter around the back and look through with no problem whatsoever. Oh, okay, oh. we'll just do that then. Yep. Is there anything so the back that door's wall? open because they need to bring in food and it gets hot in the kitchen mm -hmm. and there needs to be some place for steam to escape and whatnot. So you can kind of just poke your head in and um, there's nothing inherently evil about the kitchen. I'm looking at that or exact is section of wall. It's a bunch of pots and pans hanging from a rack that sort of obscure that section of the wall because that's where the stove is. That's where the, the big fire mm -hmm. is. So like the pots and pans could yeah. be evil or maybe they're hiding the true source of evil on the other side of them. All right. Well, so Walker, can you like stand on the end of the wall and detect the evil sift in the kitchen or on the wall itself? Oh, yeah, I go like right here on the side. <laughs> Couldn't he just look through the doorway like you are? Yeah, but the thing is, he's just going to see the wall. Like, if he finds it... Oh, through, my God. Yeah. The evil's in the wall. All right, it's in the wall. Yeah, in the wall. In the wall. And we can't dig it out, because we'll get killed. And it would be property damage. That'd be a crime. Yeah. What's the evil we're allowed to? It's a paladin. <laughs> well, I mean... Paladin... I've seen paladins breaking buildings when they detected <laughs> evil in the past. You know, this is the same sort of logic that police use to kick down doorways, and they're like, whoops, wrong warrant. Ha <laughs> ha, accidentally threw a flashbang in a baby's but crib. It's a magic so you're saying we that... can do it. Yeah, but... I am saying just because you have the legal authority to do something doesn't mean that it's always a good idea to use that authority to its fullest extent. But you did say we have the legal authority to. Well, we a paladin has a lot we did, of authority. We, we did do this once, and I don't, it didn't. It, the guy wasn't evil. He was. We, he just had some, some uh, tea or something, right? What was what? it? He was like selling tea. Oh, I was around ice that cream. adventure. Ice cream. Yeah, he was selling ice cream, and we broke into his house, and he wasn't. He, he wasn't. You know. Yeah, I, I learned a thing or two about. Uh, about warrants and about uh, not not breaking into people's houses who haven't done it. Yeah. All right. All right. Fair it's enough. a good story. I'm adding to my repertoire to tell yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, if you've got a magical ability to detect if something's evil or not, that's sort of different than a warrant, which is based on faulty evidence. Man, this episode got different. Mm. Anyway, he's not lucky. He's looking at you when he's detecting evil, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I'm always behind him yeah. when he is. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, we can just wait the here wall. till the morning and then see if he'll come in in the morning. You want to stay up all night? Like, it's entirely possible the wall has nothing to do with the hooded figure and there's always been an evil wall there. It's true. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen this wall before. <laughs> Neil. Right, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. That's why I was wondering if like, there's something on the wall that was evil, but it's the wall itself. I heard there's a wand that can make a path through a wall. I've seen it work before. I wonder if that could get the evil out of the wall. Didn't you tell me that exploded in your story? Well, no, if that happened, then I'd be dead. <sighs> the wand exploded when someone else tried to use it. Well, it's just me and Sir Walker. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go pick some pockets, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so I think I think we should probably focus on this hooded thing. Is there anything we can do with this hooded guy? Any way to find him? Anything we can do here? That, that that's I said we do a stakeout, man. We we he came in in the morning last time. He'll probably come in in the morning the next time. All right, trusting Sir Walker has never led me wrong. All right. A long really? four hours. You guys really? go really ahead and wrong? wait for the morning to come. You're gonna go around <laughs> stealing people's shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll steal some people's stuff. Why don't I'm we right. steal some people's stuff on the other side of our break? We'll <laughs> see right. you guys soon. Bye bye.